Villa won, Bournemouth won. Oh, how disappointing was that at the end? Um, all game, really. I just felt a bit of... Just felt like something weren't quite right today. Um, I think first half we, we was okay. It was a bit more even in the first yeah. half. I think I created a few half sort of chances, but again, it was a bit like the Man United game. Like things just weren't quite coming off, were they? That that final pass, <laughs> that the way the pitch opened up and we get into space, it was just not quite there. We scored a goal, the ball over the line. They're saying they have factual evidence that it's over the line now. What I saw of that little bit where you can see a bit of grass, to me that doesn't still mean that it's over the line. If you've got to look over the ball to see whether it's over the line or not, and obviously we don't have that angle, so it's been ruled out. Um, second half, I thought we were a bit better. I thought when when Barkley came on, Barkley was, you know, getting on the ball. We seemed to have a little bit more control. We were finding spaces. I felt. Ramsey at times in the second half when he was playing more central actually he was, he was doing a lot better I think sometimes when he's out wide he sometimes just loses himself a little bit but him going down the middle was a lot better uh, Duran comes on and he offers that threat and he puts himself about a lot uh, he had that shot where it just went narrowly wide I guess probably should have scored we get the goal brilliant and you're thinking right that's it now Villa go on and win the game great work from from Bailey knockdown, we had the Barkley knocking it in the net, so that was really good. And then I don't know, we just started to we started to like retreat a little bit. And on another day, you look at the subs and you go, Kamara comes on, we're shoring it up, we win the game, well done. But then when we don't win the game, we we just look like we was inviting more and more pressure. And we, we started doing some really bad fouls on the touchline. We had the one free kick before they scored where, you know, it was really well worked and they overran it. And you're thinking, there's a warning sign there and the, the more set pieces they're having, there's more warning signs there. And we just, we ended up conceding. And, you know, the, the position that we're in, you know, this is my reaction sort of like straight after the game. So it's, it, it's, it's raw fan emotion. But it's two points dropped because... We was in a winning position going into the last minute of the game. We've ended up conceding and we've dropped two points. So, yeah, two points dropped. But the performances are after these Champions League, the last two against Man United and against Bournemouth, we haven't been as free-flowing and as dynamic as what we are when we don't. So... We have really got to address it. I think this substitution of Onana and Barkley, I think Barkley now needs to start games for Villa. I think he's got to start the games. Um, but yeah, it's a bitterly disappointing to, to not win the game. I'm frustrated. Um, but we move on. We didn't lose. We got a point, so there we go. Let me know what you guys think because, um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think up the Villa. We don't <laughs> normally get that disappointing on a fan cam, but um, yeah. how are you feeling? Uh, disappointed, a little bit flat at, at the end of the week, what we've had. So, yeah, it was just all a little, a bit sort of simmering with nothing yeah. igniting. I was hoping when John Durant come on, that was going to lift everybody. We'd have a couple of good chances and then everything would lift and we'd go on to score from there. I know we got the goal, but it's still never kind of... No. Yeah, it, it felt to me... Um, I'm being brutally honest here that I felt like we were going to concede before we scored it felt like that type of game where yeah. we'd concede and then we'd have to get something back in the game but it, that weren't the case we ended up scoring first yeah. and yeah it did feel like that it, it felt like anybody and yeah. it did feel like it was a one goal game as well it seemed to feel that whoever scored first would go on and win it but then I also thought that somebody would get sent off because there were that many yellow cards it, it was just crazy and yeah uh, it's just a weird one isn't it for us yeah well it's weird as well because just the way it petered into what happened <laughs> I, I think we can all accept in football that yeah. you can concede goals and you can lose games and draw games but it was just what was happening before yeah, that it was. and the amount of chances they had and we're just putting that ball direct in the box I think 
it's like a training session. They're just we just keep conceding these fouls. We're all st standing back. They just keep putting the ball in. I mean, the chance they had before that, I think it's only because whatever it bounced off yeah. somebody and went out for a goal kick. But that was going to be a really good chance, yeah. and it was sort of wake up now because yeah. this is going to go in. And then we went and done it again and give another free kick away in that area, and we never seemed to really learn. And no. Yeah, so still a lot of work to do, yeah. and we know that we've still got a lot of work to do. So this was one of them games that just showed us how far we've come, but how far yeah. that we've still got to yeah. got to go. I think you've summarised that perfectly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Up the villa. Up the villa.